Um, so Roseanne revival premieres and then gets dropped. Yeah. Um, Beyonce becomes the first African American woman to headline Coachella. I didn't even know that happened. I think I I knew she headlined it, but I didn't know that she was the first African American woman to do so. So well, a that's good. B I can't talk about really my feelings on Beyonce in general because then people want to like murder you. <laughs> I know. I will say this. I like Destiny's Child music more than I like Beyonce's music. Oh, great. And I don't think her that. I mean, like, it's fine. It's just, it's, I just listen to more like 90s pop than like today's pop mm-hmm. music. So that's why I like it more. But, well, um, that's exactly my feelings on the music. Yeah. I'm like, it's fine, but I'm not like yeah. in a, I'm not going crazy over it. I'm not going to spend $500 on a concert ticket to see it. Like, oh. Spend five hundred dollars on concert ticket to see anyone. Um, <laughs> British Prince Harry weds Meghan Markle. Okay. Oh, that was a big moment. Yeah. Um, are you excited. more team Meghan Markle or team Kate Middleton? Because have you heard about the drama that's been going on? Yeah. So there is a feud, and I'm I am a little bit torn. Um, because I think Kate is the classiest lady on earth, mm-hmm. and I want to think that she's amazing and always. Um, and then Megan is our American princess and mm-hmm. I love that. And so I don't know, I guess I don't know what they're feuding about. Do you know, have, I haven't read, um, I, my subscription really has um, expired. <laughs> so I'm a little, <laughs> I haven't heard all the details, but I will say this. Kate was held to a different standard than Megan is and not, it has nothing to do about like either one of them. So I could see where if, Megan gets away with more while why it would be frustrating on Kate's side and I could see on Megan's side being a new person to the family and having somebody in the family frustrated with you when you're just trying to be yourself so I could see both sides of it and I don't think that either side is wrong and this is the problem with being reasonable because then you cannot come up with an opinion because you're just (laughs) exactly I think I think we can agree in our stances. We hope they work it yeah. out. <laughs> exactly. Um, all right. Uh, Kate Spade and Bourdain commit suicide. Okay, that was a big moment. And it had me believing yeah. in the conspiracy theories for a little while, like the extreme conspiracy theories. Oh, for both of them? Um. Well, actually, it started when um the guy that was in Glee died. And then... Uh, um. I, I just feel like he was killed and I feel like nothing surprises me, I think. And I think you could even go back to yeah. talking about like the whole Me Too movement about how nothing surprises me, because if that could go on for so long, there's so many other secrets and people true. people are always trying to do what's in the best interest of themselves. So would I put mm-hmm. it beyond somebody to kill somebody? You know what I mean? For not that much. No, I don't. Like, I hope that that's not true. So I don't know. I wasn't there. I don't know. Yeah. So, okay. Um, Melania Trump wears a jacket that says, I really don't care, do you? On her way to visiting <laughs> migrant children at the <laughs> I guess I, like, ne- I remember like seeing a picture of her with that jacket, but never knew that when she wore it. So that's probably not good taste, but uh, whatever. Yeah. Um, <laughs> although we should probably get those jackets. <laughs> I want that jacket. Yeah, me that, too. Yeah, perfect, perfect for us, but probably not perfect for her. <laughs> Pete Davidson and Ariana Grande get engaged and disengaged. So um, I, I guess that's a defining moment because so many people talked about it, but I couldn't think of two people I could care less about, to be honest. So no offense, but they're just not on my radar of celebrities to care about. You know, Ariana Grande is very talented. She is. So Aretha Franklin dies. R.I.P. Aretha. Yeah. Um, Drake's In My Feelings kicks off a dance challenge. Wait, I had no idea what dance challenge. Um, I don't know either. I feel like this. Maybe this is for <laughs> people. <laughs> I don't know. After the release of Drake's in my feelings, comedian Shoker, I don't know who that is either, posted his own homemade version of the music video and tagged it hashtag in my feelings and hashtag do the shiggy. Uh, well, there's two other moments that I think that instead of the ones that you listed, 
Um, Jennifer Aniston and Justin Thoreau broke up, which was highly upsetting. So I felt like that was more of a defining moment. And Lindsay Lohan did that weird dance in Mykonos. And I feel like that was more of a defining moment than these. I am sad about that breakup because I liked them both and I liked them together. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy with that dance because I watched it. Me too. And I would like to watch it. (laughs) Cardi B throws a shoe at Nicki Minaj. Yeah. Kanye West and Kim Kardashian visit the White House. Can we not talk about Kanye West's like meltdowns? Like, isn't that more of the. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And how his clothes sell out, his Yeezys sell out. And I don't understand who is spending all this money on the Yeezys. I don't know either. Aren't they super expensive? Yeah, I think like the shoes are like $500 or something and they just like sell out. And I'm like, who is buying this? Yeah. Um, Serena Williams loses her cool at the US Open. Yeah. I love Serena. Well, I would love to go see her play sometime. Yeah. And I but didn't the referee like accused her of cheating and she was like, yes, absolutely not. I stand by I'm Serena. I stand by Serena in this, uh, in that Thank argument. You. And on top of things, when you're in that, when you're that level of competitor, the adrenaline that you have going and you've trained your whole life yeah. to win, like, I don't think there's anything. If a man did it, it wouldn't have been a big deal. We wouldn't even be talking about it right yeah. now. Yeah. No, you're you're right. Nick Jonas and Priyanka Chopra get married. That just happened, right? Yeah. And that didn't define my 2018 at all. Me neither. Like, good for them, but I don't really care. Yeah, me either. Um. Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth get married. That, that was, was literally that was this last August, week, December twenty sixth. It was just a couple of days ago. Okay, well, I also don't feel like that was a defining moment. We should have just come up with our own defining moments list I because know. this is stupid. I know. Sorry, that was from Forbes. I know. So. I know. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. But yeah, I know the there's a lot of those things that I don't. They didn't had zero impact on my life. So yeah, there is another article. Paul, from the New York Post says the highs and lows of pop culture in 2018. I don't think it's very, we don't want to go through that. Yeah, they're fine. Like- yeah, I guess that, and plus, there's no need to go through another list where we don't even know what it's yeah. talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Come up with those beforehand. That would have been good. Yeah. Well, I kind of like going on the fly because then you could do your um, your true opinions on it. That's true. You get the real us. Yeah. <laughs> Authentic. <laughs> well, I guess we could leave everybody with all of these wise words of wisdom. <laughs> Overall, I think it sounds like we're more so conflicted than anything else. Like we can't take a stance on anything. We're like, I hate resolutions. I'm like, well, actually, I, I like this. <laughs> and it's not a- <laughs> <laughs> our lack of opinions. <laughs> we had a lot of opinions. Uh, our last podcast. I know it was too many opinions. We have none today. <laughs> no strong. Zero. <laughs> Maybe next time we should come in with more conviction. Next month in February, you could come in with more conviction. It's, New Year's is just not a very polarizing topic for us. No. <laughs> we'll have to find something more polarizing. Yeah. So plan on it. Listen, next podcast, it's going to be very, very polarizing hot topic. All right. Well, um, I hope that everybody enjoyed this very first episode of the new rotations. And like Lisa and I said, we'll come in with more polarizing opinions next time around. Yeah, be ready. <laughs> All right. So where can they find you, Lisa? They can find me on Instagram. It's just uh, at Lisa Iker. All right. And you can find me at Real Christy Wheeler and then the podcast at Underwhelm Pod on all forms of social media except for Twitter, which is no, that's a lie. Underwhelmed podcast on all forms of social media except for Twitter, where it's Underwhelmed Pod. And get excited for next week because we are going to be back with Panina and how to not kill your husband. (laughs) 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 Bye. Bye.